But it's a new way to transfer content to your phone. So let's say that I have just bought a new phone. It's empty. It's lots of uh, free space, but uh, there's no content. I like, for example, buy some music. So uh, I will place it on the reader. Then uh, I will, uh, the application will recognize what is my phone model and uh, what is my identity. So let's say that I want to buy music to my phone. Uh, and I want to select uh, this album by Bruce Princeton. I can select uh, individual songs here, or then just select the whole album. So it's about uh, more than 10 songs, uh, so tens of megabytes of data. So now, moving that data to my phone, it's just by clicking this button, it's in a matter of seconds. Five seconds, all the data has been transferred. So, now I'm so that's about four or five MB per song. Yes. So that means about one Mbps is what you're getting in real. Uh, it's it's a bit more. It's a bit more. Yes. So now I'm basically ready to go. It's directly written to my. So memory. all the music has been transferred. Yes. So it the uh, the progress bar that we saw said one track. So was it the one track? Uh, it was actually the whole uh, whole album bundled oh. into one file. Okay. So basically, I can just now hit play and starts playing. That's the Bruce Springsteen I was looking for. And similarly you can transfer maps or uh, games maps, or... games, applications, uh, any data basically. And also it of course works in the reverse direction so you can also uh, take backups from your phone to your PC. So you can move all of your content from your phone to your and, PC. And, uh, is this something which is an absolute necessity for this technology to work? Uh, it requires some additional hardware because it's based on a new radio technology. Could you tell us something about how that works? Uh, I'm not all about how to go into the details. Okay. But I can say that this is a totally new technology. It's not based on any existing technology. And uh, can you tell us why did Nokia want a new technology when Bluetooth 3.0 is coming with faster speed and less of uh, battery? Consumption. So where was the need for a new technology to invest, in, especially when Bluetooth has gone on to become the standard for data transfer? Well, in this case, I'm personally working for Nokia Research, and this initiated from a research project when we were looking at this kind of radio technology optimized for very short distances, like a, you can like touch reach, reach of your hand. Uh, and very low power. That's, that's the origin of this project. And uh, is this the N900 which is specially fitted with that hardware? Uh, we have some special hardware under. So this isn't something which we can expect in stores anytime soon? Uh, no, it's not, uh, not available. It is just a... Uh, is there any time uh, when we can expect this technology to become uh, mainstream or this is a research project which may or may not make it to the final? May or may not. Uh, so we are not able to comment on this kind of uh, timing issue. Thank you for speaking to us.